everyone welcome back to another video i hope you guys had a good week so today i'm going to be going back to some traditional mediums um watercolor painting because it has been very very long since i've done any traditional art i've been doing ipad and digital art for quite some time but it is as if the universe doesn't want me to go back to traditional painting because there were so many complications in doing this piece and i'll just talk about them because it was quite ridiculous actually okay so for the original piece i knew that i wanted to paint a sunset sky with dark clouds and i wanted to paint a field and then i decided that i wanted to have red line art instead of black so i wanted to use ink to line my to line the piece but i did not check if the ink was waterproof so when i painted over my first wash this is what happened all the ink just dissolved away into the paper and i had nothing left but okay okay so now i just need to get a waterproof ink and ink this whole piece again but it's okay it's worth it so i went to look for a list of um, inks and how waterproof they are and i decided on the brand that i wanted and i found just one shop that i know that stocks this kind of ink so i go there and this is what happened okay so i'm at the shop where i'm supposed to get my red waterproof ink um but i found out that it has moved so it's all dark this, this part's dark as well and this is the only shop I know where I live that stocks this kind of ink so I really don't know what I'm gonna do now they do say where they are moving to but it's really really late uh, yeah so I guess I have to think of another way or a new piece to draw I'm actually so sad that this shop is closed because it's a really cool shop it had like this loft thing going on and they had lots of art supplies that normal art stores here don't stock and it's on the way home from work so i could drop by anytime but oh well so now that i obviously can't use red ink anymore i decided to just change the whole idea so that i can use my pencil pocket brush which is black ink instead of the red but then I ran into another problem. So in the past, to put on my masking fluid, I would normally use a, you, uh, a normal brush like this. But if you've worked with masking fluid before, you know that it does wreck your bristle brushes if you don't clean them properly. So then I found the magic of a fine line mask pen, which is basically a squeezable bottle that has a metal um, tip. And the cap also has a metal pin that goes right into the metal the tip the metal tip and this makes sure that your masking fluid doesn't dry out and it is also airtight and it doesn't clog so at that point in time i didn't know where to buy this fine line applicator in the end i settled for ordering some other bottles online so the bottle online that i ordered was something like this it has it also has a metal tip except that it doesn't have the cap with the pin in it so it's just a normal cap that goes on like this but as this was shipping over i found a place that actually sold the fine line applicator and i was like oh my god it was already coming i couldn't cancel the order so then i got this and then i got this and i have all these and then when i was just about to fill this up i found out that my masking fluid was all dried up in the bottle so then i had to go get another bottle i had to go to one up shop and they didn't have and another up shop that also didn't have and only a third one that i went to had the masking fluid that i wanted so just in trying to get masking fluid and a proper applicator i spent so much time getting that done so now that i have all my materials i can finally start to paint and actually the painting was okay it went smoothly up till i got to the clouds while filming this piece i also found a whole new camera setup a new desk setup everything so i must say that even though this took ages to film and ages to paint 
it really was an enriching experience. It felt great to actually try new things and improve the um, filming process overall. And it's been actually quite some time since I've made a video, I'm sorry for that. But it feels so good to be back and making videos again. So do watch out for the next one coming next week. So this is the reference photo that I used for the clouds. So you can see that they are dark clouds and then they have the um, pink, the red and the yellow tinge to it in the direction of the setting sun. And I really wanted to recreate that in this piece but I didn't know how. So you can actually see that I really struggled with painting the clouds and trying to get them right. So in the end, it didn't turn out as fluffy as I wanted them to be and they also turned out too dark but I did learn some things while painting this so that was good. Once again, thank you guys for watching this video and sticking around. If you have any questions, just put them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!